With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, so question is saying this, the resistance of 0.2 molar solution of an electrolyte is 50 ohm and the specific conductance of a solution is 1.4 simon meter in volts, right? And the resistance of 0.5 molar solution of the same electrolyte is 280 ohm, right? So now we have to find out the molar conductivity of 0.5 molar solution of an electrolyte in Simon meter square per mole, right? So let's start solving this question, right? So we have given the let's right, we have given the resistance of 0.2 molar solution of electrolyte is 50 ohm, right? So I'm writing here that means we have given R is equals to 50 ohm, right? So the R is equals to 50 ohm, right? So and the specific conductance of the solution is 1.4 Simon meter inverse, right? Specific conductance is that means we have given the value of conductivity, right? So that is kappa, which is equals to 1.4, 1.4 Simon meter inverse, right? So 1.4 Simon meter inverse, right? So this is our 1.4 Simon meter inverse, right? So now from here, we want to find out the, we want to find out the molar conductivity for this solution that is 0.5 molar solution right so for this solution the molar conductivity formula will be equals to conductivity kappa multiplied by 1000 divided by molarity right so divide by molarity or you can say divide by concentration here concentration is 0.5 right so since we are finding the molarity right so molar conductivity so i can write here that, that is molarity right so now you can see this we have we know that the molar mo, we, we know that the molar conductivity will be equal to this right and so for finding out this we know the we have to know the value of this conductivity and we have this value right so that is 0.5 mole right so that is 0.5 right so but we we don't know the value for conductivity value for this solution right so that is 0.5 mole right so we know the value of conductivity for this solution this molarity solution right so now first we have to find out the value of conductivity for this solution right so let's start it right so as we know that as we know that R is equals to R is equals to rho L by A rho L by A right so this is our L by A right so now R is our here resistivity and L is our length and A is equal to area right so now since L by A is our cell constant right so L by A is our cell constant so I can write down the L by A is cell constant and we also know that resistivity resistivity is also inversely proportional to conductivity that is kappa right so I can write down the value of R in this way like this R is equals to 1 by K L by A right so L by A right so since we are finding the cell constant from here because cell constant is same for this solution also and for this solution also right so since it is a constant right so from here the value of L by A comes out to be the value of L by A L by A comes out to be R into K R into K or you can say R into kappa right so here you can see this we have given the value that is value of r is 50 ohm right so r is 50 ohm multiply by value of conductivity that is 1.4 simon meter inverse right so 1.4 simon meter inverse right so now you can see this 1 ohm is equals to 1 ohm inverse is also equals to 1 simon right so now you can see here from simon to ohm cancel out right so because these are opposite right so now we are left with we are left with only with the cell constant that is equals to a l by a which is equals which is equals to 50 note which is equal to it comes out to be 70 right it comes out to be 70 meter inverse right it comes out to be sent to 70 meter inverse right so now we have find out the cell constant right so now we have find out the cell constant right so this is our cell constant but we have to find out the molar conductivity right so for finding out the molar conductivity we know that we know that r is equals to Right, so we know that R is equals to rho L by A, rho L by A, right? And 4.5 molar solution, 0.5 molar solution, the value of R is given here, that is 280 ohm, right? So that, that is 280 ohm, right? So for here, and we also know that resistivity is also equals to I can write down like this 1 by kappa right and this is L by A right so because we have this value right so now you can see here we can find out the conductivity for this solution right so for this concentration right so the conductivity conductivity will be equals to R right conductivity will be equals to R into or you can say that it will be equals to 1 by R 
into L by A, right? So the value comes out to be here. The value is comes out to be one by two eighty ohm, right? And the value of L by A is this value, right? So that is seventy because this is same for all the concentration, right? All the solution, right? Seventy meter inverse, right? Seventy meter inverse, right? So it comes out to be here. You if you want to cancel out, so it comes out to be one. And that that comes out to be four, right? So here the conductivity value comes out to be conductivity value comes out to be one by four, right? One by four, and it comes it comes ohm inverse meter inverse, right? Or you may write in this way, right? So you may write in this way that is kappa is equals to kappa is equals to one by four, that right? So this is one by four, and ohm inverse I can write as simon, right? So that is simon meter inverse, right? Simon meter inverse, right? So now we have to find out the molar conductivity, right? Since we know that molar conductivity will be equals to molar conductivity will be equals to kappa multiply by one thousand divided by molarity, right? So divided by molarity, right? So I'm just putting the value over here, so it becomes I can write it in this way, right? So this is this will be equals to you can say the one one by one by four that comes out to be point two five, right? This is point two five. Simon meter inverse, right? So this is Simon meter inverse, right? So I can write down the value that is 0.25 Simon meter inverse, right? So this is Simon meter inverse multiply by multiply by 1000, right? So this is 1000, right? And divide by divide by you can say this is molarity that is that is 0.5 right so that that we have given that we have given that is 0.5 right so i can write down the value that is 0.5 mole per liter so i can write down here centimeter cube right so that is that is 0.5 mole per centimeter cube right so since for 1 centimeter of electrolyte right so i can write down here centimeter cube so i i have to convert it into meter right so it will becomes point Two five centimeter inverse into multiply by one thousand divide by divide by here it comes out to be point five mole right and it comes out to be here since we know that once it, I have to convert into meter right so that means I can write down it like this ten to power minus two meter cube right so from here you can see this this comes out to be this comes out to be 0.5 into 10 to power minus 10 to power minus 3, right? 10 to power minus 3 Simon meter square per mole, right? So this value, this value comes out to be, or you can say the molar conductivity comes out to be 5 into 10 to power minus 4 Simon meter square per mole, right? So this is per mole. Right, so this is the conductivity. Right, so this is the molar conductivity value. Right, so this is the molar conductivity value. Right, so let's check our option. Options are you can see here. Options are 10 to power 3, 5 to 10 to power 2, minus 4, minus 3. So you can see here, you can easily write down the our answer. That is option C will be the correct answer. Right, and option A, B, and D will be the wrong answer. Right. So hope this answered your question. So thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITJ and NEET level. Trusted by more than five crore students. Download Doubt and App today.